This is Jim Matthew Sadler, and uh, in this video we're going to take uh, a little look at a, at a Blitz game of mine that I played uh, recently. Um, yeah, I was going to start off by saying that I was um, that I'm of the generation that uh, didn't really believe in playing uh, Blitz, but uh, but I don't think that's really accurate because uh, there's a lot of players my age and uh, a lot of players uh, older than me who are real uh, Blitz demons. I think uh, yeah, it's probably more accurate to say that I was uh, uh, the type of player who believed Botvinnik. When uh, uh, when uh, Botvinnik said that uh, playing blitz was bad for your chess, and um, yeah, and actually that, that's actually influenced me an awful lot when I was younger, and I've actually ended up playing very little blitz in my life. Um, I mean, I do play online from uh, from time to time, but uh, yeah, somehow I still get this little guilty feeling in me. Uh, you know, as soon as I start playing, and if I start playing for too long, I really worry that it's going to affect my chess. Um, but I mean, you know, you see. The great players of nowadays, like uh, like Carlson and Aronian and Nakamura and Vashil Agrav, you know, all playing fantastic blitz chess and clearly enjoying it. And for that matter, you know, also playing stuff like Bug House or whatever. Um, and uh, yeah, you kind of think that uh, you sort of miss something in uh, in your career, really. But anyway, as I said, I do play uh, you know the uh, the odd game of online chess, and from time to time, I play a game that uh, that I enjoy and that uh, that also is a, a bit of a pleasure to analyze. And this is one such example, actually. So um, I was uh, black here uh, against an unknown player. Um, the opening was uh, uh, a Sicilian Rossellino. Um, getting a lot of those on uh, on online blitz now. I'm sure the uh, World Championship has had some effect there. And um, it was black to move. Um, as you can see, both sides are uh, um, are uh, fighting on opposite wings. White's played h3, g4, and is teeing up for knight f5, even as a P sacrifice, you know, to open up the G file. And I've done quite well as well with A4 and B4 and uh, a bishop on E6 pointing towards A2. Um, so I was, um, at this stage, I thought that it was uh, it was my moment. It was really time to, to go for things in a big way. So that's what I did. I played the move C4. Um, and when white went knight F5, which is uh, pretty obvious, the idea was... Um, uh, not to uh, take with a G pawn because uh, certainly in a blitz game, opening up the G file, you know, at the cost of a piece even, I mean, that's really going to be very, very dangerous for black. The idea was to go knight takes F5, G F5, and then this move, C3. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, not to be coughed at or sneezed at this move. Um, the concept was that um, if B takes C3, which I thought would be, frankly, way too risky, I was going to play bishop takes a2 check and after king takes a2 then b3 and this looked pretty dangerous to me um the idea was that if c takes b3 a b3 king b1 um they're not queen a3 when when you know black white can play queen b2 but this move rook a2 um followed by queen a3 which is just going to be uh you know completely killing um, and I thought that uh, a move like king b1, I'd simply play rook b8. I'm getting, coming in with queen a3. I mean, uh, winning for uh, for uh, for black. Um, what I hadn't seen, of course, the engine points out, is that why can't you play this move king b2? It's an amazing idea. The idea is that after a3, white plays king a1. And, you know, if you compare to the previous line that we looked at, this pawn on a3 has moved forwards and it's stopping the black queen from getting into a3. And this actually makes a huge difference to the attack. It just means that uh, the black's completely lost. So, um, I mean, if b2 check, we just go king a2. There's no good way for black to get a, a deadly check on the uh, the a2 g8 diagonal. Anyway, white's always got c4 to block things. And if I go move like rook b8, then the most accurate move from the engine is rook b1 takes and rook b4 and after c5, um, I mean, it's accurate to force this so that uh, black doesn't even have a queen c5 move uh, uh, in some variations. You just take, take, queen c2, rook b2, queen a4. And, uh, well, black's got absolutely no way of getting through and white is just a piece up. So that rather blows my concept out of the water. Um, but obviously it would have taken quite a lot of nerve and calculation to do this in a blitz game. Uh, White played the very natural move queen h6, after which I could unleash my master plan, which was bishop takes a2 check. So the very best move um, 
which I, I, I half suspected, but I, I didn't see obviously uh, how this was the case, was to play king a1, leave that bishop on a2 blocking stuff. Um, and then um, I was going to play b3, uh, which I thought was going to be very dangerous with threats of c takes b2 and uh, a3 check or something like that. Um, but actually, white has this uh, um, this interesting idea, knight h7, queen h7, rook g6 check, king h8. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd sort of seen this far uh, in these ideas. And I always thought that white had to play the move queen e3, which um, um, in actual fact is not so um, so bad at all for um, uh, for black, because you've actually got this idea of going um, b takes c2, uh, for example, a move like rook g1, and then c takes b2, king b2, queen b7 check. And I get out of the way of um, of this rook h6 threat, um, which was threatening to win the queen back. And, um, well, after a move like king c2, I mean, quite apart from anything else, I've always got this move rook f7 to block any checks on the h-file. So um, this doesn't look too stupid for uh, for black. But there's actually a very clever idea here from white. White can actually play the move, um, let's have a look, rook dg1. Um, funnily enough, with a threat of playing queen takes h7 check and then rook 6g4, uh, followed by a, a mate on, uh, on the h-file. Um, and I thought that the best move here, or my engine thought that the best move for black here was to play rook f7. Um, but after you go queen e3, then all of a sudden black doesn't have this uh, this queen b7 idea. Um, so rook h6 really is a serious threat. Um, and as it turns out, well, my engine uh, gave this line. Rook b7, bc, takes, takes, rook b8, rook h6, check. With an engine draw by perpetual, which I thought was rather, rather gorgeous. Um... Yeah, rather crazy, of course, um, but it's quite a common idea, you know, that uh, that not taking something uh, on a two and uh, just you know leaving the king behind it and using that that extra piece there as a sort of a shield. That's a very typical idea. Well, my opponent played king a two, b three, king b one, and now I think I played rather too quickly. Um, I played this move queen b four which I thought would be uh, very strong, threatening b takes c2 and queen b2 check. Um, but it isn't a, um, you know, looking at it, it, it's not actually a very efficient way of um, of prosecuting the attack. Um, because um, uh, on e7, the black queen, well, first of all, you saw it, it helped defend against this knight g5 and queen h7 mate threat. Whoops, sorry. Um, and it also stopped this move f5 to f6 from um, from, uh, from from white. So, you know, if you could prosecute the attack and leave the queen on e7, um, I mean, that would really be the most efficient way of playing. Um, and, well, when you see something that's inefficient, um, you realise that, well, all white needs to do, even at the cost of, uh, of a great deal of material, is to halt this, uh, this initial black attack, this threat of b takes c2 and queen b2, and um, um, yeah, and 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 then your threats on the king side will actually be uh, decisive. Um, now, I mean, the move that White played, which was Queen C one, was obviously not going to be the way uh, because, uh, well, when the queen goes back to C one, White no longer has any king side threats, and uh, well, A three here would have been absolutely decisive. Um, but even my move, Rook B eight, takes C B three, Queen B three, Queen C two, and Queen A three with rook b2 check coming in, was sufficient to uh, to force resignation. However, um, white had a much better move than queen c1, and it was this move, rook d2. So uh, the idea is that if c takes d2, we've just got f6, followed by queen g7 mate. And there's absolutely no way for um, uh, for black to, to, uh, to get back and defend. Um, I had thought, uh, when I just thought about rook d2, that I could play this move a3, threatening a2 check and c takes b2 and uh, and all sorts of mating threats. But why can actually just play this move cb3, breaking the attacking front, and after a takes b2, f6, um, it's it's curtains again. There's no way for uh, for black to um, uh, to 
get at the White King in time and this move Queen G7 is just going to give mate on the next move. So that was a little bit uh, disappointing. Um, but then doing some analysis, I found a much better idea. And uh, well, when I looked at it with the engine, uh, the engine uh, refined my uh, my genius, uh, well, to something uh, approaching uh, correctness. Um, a3 is a, is a great little idea. I mean, I, I'm just threatening um, uh, a2 check, cb, queen a3 check. You know, it's just uh, very, very dangerous indeed. So um, I basically looked at um, at, uh, at three moves, um, f6, uh, knight g5, both of which, you know, really try and distract uh, white by a uh, black rather by taking some action on the uh, on the king side and this uh, normal move c takes b3 so um if we have a look at f6 first of all the idea is to divert the queen away from the um uh from the uh, um uh, from the queen side uh, simply this a2 c takes b3 and queen a3 and then queen c5 check very important move is um, um, is just winning for um, uh, for black. The key idea actually is that after king d2, you've got this amazing idea: queen takes f2 check, and then you're going to take on c2 uh, check and give mate. Very important idea. Um, knight g5. Then you can imagine is almost the same: just uh, a2 check and c takes b2. So the most interesting move was to play c takes b3, just like in the line we saw, just trying to break that attacking front of the black pawns. And then I go a takes b2. And um, well, I was very proud of myself for uh, for spotting a, a very nice, nice route to mate. Uh, and then it turned out that the computer had, a, had found a much better one. Um, I think the main idea that uh, that we can look at is uh, is f6, again, trying to distract the queen from the uh, from the queen side. Um, uh, but maybe maybe the first thing interesting thing to look at here is the move knight g5 so threatening a queen h7 mate and f6 you know white will go the, the knight h7 route and uh, and try and do something that way uh, but there's a couple of ways that uh, that black can play um, first of all there was the way that I found which was rook a1 king c2 and then b1 queen very nice idea um, after rook b1 I go rook a2 check and uh, I suppose the key idea is that king d1, I've got c2 check. And uh, king c1, I've got queen a3 check. And uh, king c3, I've got this move, queen c5 check, of course. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's not even the move rook b2, because I take on b2. And now there's a couple of nice things. Um, if king c3, um, I go rook b3 check, king b3 rook b8 check and uh, it's all going to be over i'm just going to mate uh white there um and the most gorgeous idea is if um king c1 then wait for it queen takes g5 check and after queen g5 rook a8 then uh, rook a1 check is unstoppable very nice very neat i was very proud of myself uh, for that one um i think there's actually an even stronger move or there is in actual fact and this is c2 check from the computer uh, king b2, queen a3, king there, and queen c5 check. And it's a very nice idea. Again, if king d2, we're playing queen f2 check. And um, if king b1, then rook a1, queen a3 is mate. So also a very nice idea. And this motif of, uh, of c2 is extremely important um, because um, uh, it comes up in the attack f6. So actually, um, I'd seen this move. I thought that queen f6 was uh, was rather strong um, because I'd noticed that after rook a1, king c2, b1, uh, queen, uh, rook b1, uh, rook a2 check, um, this is not actually um, as strong for uh, for white as you would hope because I can go rook b2 takes king takes c3 rook check and i still have my um knight on f3 to cover certain uh, certain mating threats so i think oh, i'm uh, i'm uh, improvising my line here now i think the idea was 
it was either king b3 or or uh, or king d2 let me just have a look i think it was uh, it was this one actually and then king c2 and then queen c5 and king d1 and rook b1 and king e2 and uh, uh i'm just going knight d2 to uh to block all the checks i think that's the right uh, that's the right idea it was something pretty similar to that basically um, but after f6, um, well, I thought the queen f6 simply was uh, was going to be very strong. But there's an even stronger move, and that's the computer c2. Um, and it's, again, it's pretty gorgeous. Uh, here, queen c5 check. King d2, I've got queen check. And black goes king c3. And it looks for a moment as if um, it might only be a draw by perpetual. Queen c5 check, queen f2. But black's got this gorgeous move, b1 knight. Rook b1, queen c5. And what uh, black's actually done is cleared the way the second rank for the rook and after king b2 we've got this move rook a2 check and uh, obviously for the computer this is uh, absolutely nothing for me it takes uh, some while to appreciate that this is actually going to be mate in uh, i don't know how many king b5 queen d3 check king c6 rook a6 king c5 queen c3 the very nicest way of getting mate king d5 here and bizarrely enough queen d6 check is mate well done my engine um but a very very nice uh, a very very nice idea there um quite surprising actually uh, that uh, yeah just by uh, by giving up all the pawns like this and exploiting some some tricks on the second rank then um uh, especially the weakness of the pawn f2 then this can actually be uh, be made um the final idea is that if i think if white plays king c2 then um we've got this idea b1 check uh, again um, and uh, yeah after king b1 well we've got uh, various stuff queen a3 for example is a, a very nice way to give mate so that was uh, that was the, the very best move my queen b4 was uh, was not as good um, a3 would have been an absolutely gorgeous way to uh, to uh, to finish off the uh, uh, the attack a very very visual way there um, but anyway um, and this whole concept of uh, of playing c4 to c3 uh, probably wasn't very good um, anyway, just because of this uh, uh, amazing uh, uh, idea of uh, of just taking oops taking on c3 and after bishop a2 just drawing on the black pawns and then using them as a cover for the king. Really quite amazing. Um, so I mean, lots of mistakes as always in blitz games, but uh, had quite a fun time uh, analysing it, and I hope you in, uh, you enjoyed this one too.